doing? Hey, what is going on, my man? It's Tom. I got you connect right there. Y'all already know it's your boy, Jordan the Don Adorno. And if you did not know, really quick, I don't know if y'all noticed, your boy is adding more to the Godzilla sleeve. That is right, you guys. Your boy got the Smog Monster, Hedora, and the Guardian of the Universe, Gamera. That is right, you guys. I'm adding a lot more. I'm, I, I'm honestly lost the words because I am so excited to get this bad boy done, all right? But other than that, you guys, I know I've been off my game when promising you guys that every week I was going to upload a video for you guys. Um, I've been kind of busy. My schedule's been kind of mixing up with me making content, so please forgive me. Hopefully, this makes up for it. And being that my last video was that of a gamma related video, I wanted to do another one, all right? Not only that, but you know, I don't know, I've just been in a gamma mood. Thus explaining this bad boy right here. Other than that, the video is a Gamera haul. That is right, you guys. Within the most recent packages that I've been receiving in my mail have been Gamera related packages. So without further ado, I would just like to jump right into the review. So first off, we have the complete set of the Gashapon Gamera finger puppets. Now, when I saw these on Bai, I knew I had to go out of my way to purchase them. As you can see, they're extremely cute and adorable. And as you saw right there, most of them are, I wouldn't say most of them, but a good portion of them aren't finger puppets. They're just actual mini finger puppets. So right here we have Barugan, the Chameleon Kaiju in the Showa Gamera era. Next off we have Virus, and it, it, ironic enough it's spelled Virus, but it's pronounced Virus. I don't know, some people within the community still identify this specific Kaiju as Virus. I tend to call it Virus just because that is the more popular and more appropriate name for this Kaiju. Just like Barugan, Virus does not have a finger puppet gimmick so th thus making this two out of three believe it or not and this being the third one fingerless finger puppets and the third one is none other than Guiron. I absolutely love the small details that they really captured within each kaiju especially you know certain areas that we don't normally see as common and often within the movies so seeing that how the sculptors really paid a lot of attention into details with these little things are remarkably incredible absolutely love the knife head guiron and now here comes the actual finger puppets all right so starting off with super gauss from gamma 3 revenge of iris one of the things that I find extremely incredible is how the arms are articulated instead of the head, which I feel like is extremely unique amongst the rest of them. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Gauss is the only kaiju within this complete set that has two points of articulation being the two arms. Now, being that this isn't the original Super Gauss, I do believe that this design is overlooked. So to see this in a finger puppet form excites me. Now, next up, we have Mother Legion. Now, one of the unfortunate things about this specific finger puppet is the lack of color choices. Granted, these are very, very small figures, as you guys can see me tossing and turning them so you guys could see every angles of details. So I could only expect so little when it comes down to color schemes. But overall, extremely highly detailed and absolutely love Legion, one of my favorite kaiju within the Gamera series. Now, in my opinion, here we have Iris. And I personally believe within this entire complete set, this is the best out of every other finger puppet to come alongside with Iris. That is right, in my opinion, this is the better finger puppet. This is the best finger puppet. The color schemes are amazing i really love the silver that's applied onto the head of iris really makes the figure pop up especially those blue orbs that are on the chest plates really love this figure and now that we got all the villains out of the way let me discuss with you guys the guardian of the universe gamera or at least this specific iteration of gamera the friend to all children the original showa 
Gamera. Now, just like the rest, Gamera does also come with articulation, as you can see, a full 360 rotation on the head. Now, I will say, and I will admit that between the two Gamera finger puppets that come within this set, this is indeed my personal favorite of the two Gamera finger puppets. Um, I just like the pose. I like how it has the articulation. So yeah, and here is the second Garden of the Universe Gamera finger puppets featuring the 1999 iteration of the Heisei Gamera. Now this overall design and not so much the figure but the actual character is my all time favorite Gamera. And fun fact, these are my only sets of finger puppets in my Gamera collection. So being that I actually have a completed Gamera finger puppet set makes me extremely exciting. Here are some size comparisons to that of the more popular Godzilla finger puppets. Overall, highly recommend these guys. And now I'm gonna get straight into the second package that I received. And within that package, I received two sets of the Utaka Gamera figure sets featuring Gamera vs. Gauss and Gamera vs. Legion. As you can see, I am presenting to you guys the box art given for the Gamera vs. Gauss box set. And might I say, I am a sucker when it comes down to box art, especially box art where it includes the clear plastic seam where you could see the actual figures inside of its packaging. I absolutely love the box art for these figures. Given the choice of images that they used to really make these figures, or not so much the figures, but the packages pop out. And being that I don't own a lot of Gamera stuff, and my Gamera collection is very small and limited, these were a must needed to add to the collection. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna display these figures inside of their packaging but for this specific video obviously i'm gonna be taking them out so that you guys can see how fun and how amazing these little figurines are now first off as you guys can obviously here we have the gamma versus gao set now just like the finger puppets these figures are actually ex extremely small and yet extremely adorable all right um i absolutely love this gauss figure all right and fun fact, I don't own a lot of Gauss figures, so to see this specific figure set, I knew I had to add it to the collection. Now, one of the other unique things about these sets is the accessories that comes with them. So right here, as you see me struggling trying to take it out of its packaging, you get this disc, all right, or this coin. I do not know what it's for, but it is to honor and memorate Gamera Garden of the Universe that came out in 1995. And it also comes with this very cheap, but yet extremely entertaining card. All right. Um, it is again, a cardboard card. As you can see, there's nothing on the back, but other than that, I'm a sucker for, you know, just small accessories that comes with figures. So now on to the second box set featuring Gamera versus Legion. Now, as mentioned on, I believe my previous video, Gamera versus Legion was my first Gamera movie ever owned. So this one really does hit home when having purchased this specific set alongside with the Gamera vs. Gao set. And just like that set, these figures are not to be disappointed with. I absolutely love the jet arms given to Gamera as the series continued on within the trilogy and Legion. Oh my goodness, absolutely love Mother Legion. These are the color schemes that I believe should have been applied to the finger puppet but nonetheless, can't complain, really love it. And just like the previous box set, you see, you know, two very similar items and that is another coin or a disc or a Frisbee, whatever it is, honoring and memorating Gamera to the attack of Legion or the advent of Legion that was in Japanese. And here we have another trading card with the actual Japanese poster of Gamera 
two. These two Utaka Gamera figure sets are absolutely amazing. And if you guys do not have these in your collection, I highly recommend them. There is one Utaka figurine that I am looking for, and that is the giant Utaka Gamera bank. But other than that, only time will tell if I ever come across it. I hope you guys really like this video. So always make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, see you guys very, very soon.